from the back of a back lot of a movie studio in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. When I come home, it's game time. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's Thursday and time for another edition of Like Us 101. Can you attend my class? It is for your own good. I mean, a girl decides how far she's going to let you go in the first five minutes. You in my class? I am today. I'm going out with that chick from Kinko's for drinks tonight, man. And, and I know. I know I've got to not have sex with her. No, no, man. you got to not want to have sex with her. Having sex with her is the whole point. Okay. I, I, I've got to not want to have sex with her. Right, right, right. Remember, okay, both men and women want to have sex. It's natural, except we're on different timetables. Women want to have sex, like, you know, 15 minutes after us. So, all right, if you hold out for 20, she'll be chasing you for five. It's like it's 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men... How to get more till for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. I am your professor. This is my classroom. Class is in session. This is where we teach the tenets of Lycus 101. And it's been a long time since Lycus 101 fell on Valentine's Day. A day that is to be resolutely resisted by any student of Lycus 101. When I say resolutely resisted, here is what I mean. No cards. No flowers. No candy. No dinner. No jewelry. Nothing of value sent to anyone you're having sex with. In fact, you should not even see any of the people you currently have sex with. That also means no phone calls, no text messages, no instant messages, no emails, no electronic greeting cards. Nothing. Lay low. Any little thing could give a woman the wrong impression, like that you give a rat's ass about her. You give nothing, you send nothing, you don't call, you don't write, you don't do anything. I've got very specific instructions for you. While you are busy keeping a low profile on this Valentine's Day, your assignment is to pick the biggest meat market hookup joint that you know. The bar where you know on any given night that you could get laid. And you are to go there. My bar of choice, of course, is Lola's on Fairfax in the West Hollywood area. Lola's is on... Uh, Fairfax, south of Santa Monica, north of Belrose. It's around, uh, it's around Fairfax and Willoughby. You go there or a place like that where people hook up. You go there and you look at the bar. Don't just jump right in. Study carefully. Look for women sitting by themselves, and there will be women sitting by themselves. Let me tell you who those women are. These are the women who don't have boyfriends, who don't have husbands, the women who feel like the biological time clock is ticking, the women who can't figure out why they can't meet a good man. 
These are the women who broke up with their boyfriends today, or maybe their husbands. These are the women who never got anything today at the office. They never received any flowers, no balloons, no candy. Nobody invited them out to dinner tonight. And so they've been told by their friends, think carefully now, they've been told by their friends, don't just sit home and mope. you got to get out there. you got to get out there. So you have to know what's happening on the other end, and that's what's happening. you got to get out there. So they do. They tart themselves up, and they cart themselves down to the bar I'm describing, a place where people hook up. They go down there, and they start lapping up the peach martinis. Maybe they cry a little bit. Maybe there's a couple of tears shed, and they are sitting there by themselves. And truth be told, I hate to say it. No, I love to say it. What am I saying? I love to say it. These women are about to do things they will regret for the rest of their lives because their self-esteem tonight is so low. They will have sex with the first person who sits near them. If you have ever had a hard time getting laid, this is a sure thing. It's a sure thing. When you go out tonight, women who are at bars are the ones who aren't at dinner. They have not ordered the molten lava chocolate souffle. It takes 20 minutes extra, by the way, so you have to order it before dinner. Do you know what I'm saying? These are the women who didn't get, a, a, you know, a Vermont teddy bear or a pajama gram. These are the women who didn't get invited out to the Red Lobster or... Uh, you know, it's Italian cousin, the Olive Garden. <laughs> well, you thought I was going to say Italian. Oh. No, these are the women who uh, who got nothing. Not a card, not a coffee pot, not a phone call, not a text message. Somebody just paid no attention to them. These are the women who said, don't get me anything for Valentine's Day. That'll be fine. And then the guy did exactly what she said. So they're sitting there, they're feeling angry and vengeful, but the way they'll get back is not by torturing the guy's car or burning his house down. The, the way they'll get back is they will go to a bar, get really drunk, which will be their excuse later on, and then they're going to do something they're going to regret for the rest of their lives. And here's where you come in. You can be the facilitator. You know, we have a president, he's the decider, the decider. How about being the facilitator? You'll have a woman who wants to to do something awful, self-destructive. Men, this is where you come into the picture. You can be the person who gives her what she's out to get. Hit it hard and then get the hell out of there. Valentine's Day is to be resolutely resisted in that you're not to follow the usual tactics. You're not to buy the usual cards or candy or flowers or champagne. You're not to rent limos. I mean, forget all that stuff. Keep it on the down low today and go out with the other chicks who didn't get anything for Valentine's Day. Go out, get them. They will do what you want them to do. There is no out. Capitalize on women when their self-esteem is at an all-time low. Are we on the same page, men? Tom. 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 Like this. 1-800-5800-TOM. Sometimes I make a date to go out with them, and I do your rule. I say to them, what time are you having dinner? And then I say, I'll meet you for drinks afterwards. And then when they start demanding dinner to get together, I say, okay, let me make a reservation. And I call them back and I say, look, I'm going to meet you at the restaurant. Get all dressed up and go to the restaurant. The only problem is I never show up. It's Likus 101 on the Tom Likus Show. The Tom Likas Show, Likas 101. I am your professor at 1 800 5 800 Tom. That is our telephone number. All right. To your calls. 
Lissa on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Tom, I just wanted to call up and just congratulate you on being the number one pig. Why would you say that, dear? Well, because I just don't agree with your Valentine's Day tactics. Why not? They're very, very effective. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, I've been married for almost 25 years. In a couple months, my husband's taken me to Cancun, and this Valentine's Day, I said, I do not want anything. Cancun is our president. We are not together. advising husbands on what to do with wives. That has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Yeah, but you're teaching young men how to be pigs. How so? Because you don't treat women with respect. How are we supposed to treat them? Tell me what I'm, what I'm doing wrong here. Oh, have you ever listened to yourself? No, no. Uh, you tell me what I'm doing wrong. I think what I'm doing is fine. Well, I think that you're telling men to go out and just get what they can and run. Right. Why do you do that? Why do you say that? Because that that's what men want, and I tell them how to get it. That's sad. Women who are out at a bar tonight are out there because they're depressed. Don't, don't they have a right to have sex? You know that's what they're looking for. Oh, they have a right to have sex. But Good, and our men right. are going to give them what they have a right to have. Right, but they don't have a right to be treated that way. Why not? Because it's not humane. It's our job to tell the women at the bar tonight, oh, I'm so sorry you're here at the bar. Maybe I could take you to a Valentine's Day dinner right now. Is that what we should be doing? And go, but don't spend over 40 bucks. I wouldn't spend anything. Are you kidding me? Nothing. Make the woman pay. No, I wouldn't go to dinner. I, I tell the guys to eat before they go out. Yeah, skip the dinner, go right to the bed. Uh, that would be great. Uh, yeah, of course, that would be great. Well, you go ahead and keep on preaching, but I just don't agree with it. Why do you have a problem with this? Why? Because it just, you're just a chauvinistic pig. How That's so? How so? That's how I feel about you. How? No, not, not why. How? In what how? way? In what way is because I don't agree with the tactics that you're telling young men to go out and just bang, bang, bang and not ever call somebody back. What that's what mean? that's what guys want to do. And and I tell them how to do it. I wonder if they want to call that girl back. Well, they can do whatever they want, but uh, most guys most guys just want to get in and get out. Oh, it's sad. What What is sad about that? I'm just glad I didn't marry a person like that. Darling, these are not married men. These are not I men who are looking not. to get married. My students don't want to be married. I know, and if I had a son your age, I would advise him not to listen to your show. Because well, you could advise him all you want, but he'd be listening anyway because this is what guys listen to. That's sad. Why is That's that sad? These men need my guidance. They need my help, and I'm giving it to them. I would, you know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see you go head on with John Tesh. Who? John Tesh. Go head on? Is he a political uh, talk show no, host or something? Yeah, he's a radio talk show host. He's, he's not a, a no, he's not. He's a disc. He's he's a disc jockey. He uh, plays records. Well, I'll let you go, Tom, and you don't even have oh, to Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Wait a minute before you go, Lissa. Let me get a couple of callers on here who want to talk to you. Uh, Stephen, what did you want to say here to Lissa? Tom, how you doing? Okay. Uh, uh, forgot this chick's name, but that doesn't matter. Um, just wanted to call in and say this radio show is for young males, and he's giving, like, perfect advice to do what we want to do. We want to go out. We want to have sex with chicks, you know, and he gives perfect advice. He, t he gives us places to go. Don't you have a mind of your own to think for yourself? Why do you have to have an old guy give you old advice? Don't you have enough balls in your pants? 
apparently uh, he has no more to say to you, so uh, let's go to Kevin here. Kevin, what did you want to say to Lissa? Wisdom is Obviously just, nothing. Wisdom is created by experience. Tom has experience. You're useless. You have no ages on him. He's been around the block so many times. It's time for you to read a book, lady. No, I think you need to think for yourself and quit following, following an old man's vi- advice. Old men have wisdom. They've learned from their experiences. That's oh, my what God. Takes heart, is what he preaches. He's been around the block. He knows what happens when ladies like you get into our bank account. You're like zombies 101. Like us, Thomas. Like us 101 zombies. You can't think for yourself, so you have to have this old zombies, man hey, for this, you. This man has taught me what I want to get every day. Because of listening to him, I get what I want every night and every day, which is probably your daughter. Uh, no, no. I can say that it's not. Oh, well, if, it, if you had a daughter, it would be. I'd be taking her home tonight. I do have a daughter. She's happily married, and that's yeah, fine. I'll probably break that marriage up. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I think you could find better relationships with a knot hole in a tree. I'm not even interested in a relationship. Why would you even bring that up? Well, you could pro- find, probably stand a, up against a row of trees and have just as much fun if that's how you're going to treat them, like a piece yeah, of dead wood. I'll, I'll, I'll stand up against a row of your daughters and take them all down one by one. Oh. Yeah, that feels good, think, doesn't I it? Don't think, I don't that think feels they good, huh? One by one. Day. Tom, hey, hey, take me out. Take me out old school, Tom. All right, Kevin, here you go. It's like it's 101, 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Mike on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Hi. I'm okay, Mike. Good. Uh, I was just wondering, since it's Valentine's Day and, you know, there's all that uh, cool stuff going on tonight, uh, should we go out earlier just to uh, see what we can get? Oh, that's not a bad idea because, really, you don't want to go home late tonight. Yeah, you exactly. want to get whatever's out there, let her have a couple of drinks, and then, boom, capitalize okay. immediately on her low self-esteem. What time do you think would be best? I would say 7.30 would be great. Oh, okay. And uh, also, is this one of the nights where we would actually approach them, or should we still kind of keep to ourselves at the bar until they approach us? Uh, no, no, no. They, they're feeling very low tonight. This would be. I'm glad you brought that up. This would be a good night to approach. Because when you see a woman sitting by herself and feeling sorry for herself, she's not going to have the self-confidence to talk to anybody. Gotcha. So you'll have to instigate it. But all you have to do is say, mind if I sit down next to you? Just like that. And then you'll be in. Sounds good. Uh, Thanks, man. Can you, uh, let's see, take me out. What was that? uh, Wait, wait, wait. I I got a a new one. You You want the new one? Sure. All right, how about I'll take you out, don't tase me bro style. Perfect. What did I do? Get off the floor. Get off the floor. Get the off the floor. Get the off me, man. I didn't do anything. Don't tase me, bro. Don't tase me. I didn't do anything. Ow! 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 I think that one's going to be popular. Suggested by a listener. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Crystal, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hi, Tom. Long time, first time. Thank you, Crystal. Um, Well, I just wanted to agree with you. Um, In fact, I was actually going to go out tonight and get gussied up. And, uh, you know, if any guys were around, you know, I mean, that's it's women do the same thing, you know, get in, get out. Well, on Valentine's Day, if they don't have somebody to be their Valentine, they do. Uh, they definitely do it tonight. Exactly. Uh, it's uh, women. Women want the same thing. I'm. I'm not too ashamed or proud to say, you know, yeah, I want some sex or I want, you know, just some attention. And if guys are going to give it to me on Valentine's Day with no strings attached, then why not? Oh, so what bar will you be going to tonight? <laughs> Well, I like I said, I was, but I actually have uh, I have work, so. Oh. But, I mean, you know. So you're working late because you don't have anything to do for Valentine's Day. Exactly, because I'm single. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. Well, there'll be plenty of others out there in your place. Yep. 
So, you know, I say women should go out and just, I mean, come on. Don't be stupid. I agree. Yeah. Thank you, Grissel. Thanks, Tom. Can you take me out with a thank you, Jesus? Of course I can. Thank you, Jesus. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here comes Pam on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Pam. Hi, I'm so excited. I've, oh, I've been wanting to talk to you. I totally agree with you. Fantastic. But I have a question. I'm not married, but I am in a serious relationship, and I think he listened to your advice and he didn't give me anything, not a phone call, nothing. Well, because, uh, you know, you're too young to be in a serious relationship, and I imagine he is, too. Well, I mean, we have a kid together, Tom. Why'd you do that? Because I love him. But that, yeah, why couldn't you wait and see if you have an actual relationship? You're only 20 years old. I know, and we've been together for almost three years. That doesn't mean anything. Relationships that begin that young, 80% of them break up. I know. And I think that's honestly what he, I think he thinks that. That's how it is. Yeah. But I, even though, you know, I feel all like low self-esteem right now, I'm not going to a bar tonight, Tom. So. Now, are you, do you live with your boyfriend? Yes, I do. Where is he now? He is probably listening on the show and he's driving home right now. So he's going to come home, and uh, what's going to happen on Valentine's Day? You're going to tell him you're upset? No, probably not, because, I mean, I he I gave him something this morning, and he basically laughed at my face. So, I mean, it's, I don't know. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just kind of nervous because, I, I mean, I've always... I just want to tell you I love your show. Well, I'm glad you do. Thank you for that, Pam. You're welcome. Bye, Tom. Bye. Lindsay on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Lindsay. <laughs> What's up? The ratings, my paycheck. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Well, and the same to you. Thank you. So what's going on, Tom? I'm doing a radio show here, dear. Uh, did you have a, a specific yeah, question or a comment? Like, I was just kind of interested on your feelings and opinions of girls. Uh, girls are great as long as all you're doing is having sex with them. <laughs> but why do you say that? Because the women don't have much to say of any interest. But women have a lot of opinions and are About what? just like guys. Yeah, no, that's really not true. Women are not well-read, don't really care about current events, don't care about the things guys care about. <laughs> and do guys care about what women care about? No. <laughs> well, then there you go. I mean, what's a guy going to ask you your opinion about the elections? Um, No. See, that would be a waste but of time. <laughs> but it would be a waste of a girl's time to ask the guy, too. Well, that's only because you wouldn't understand what he was saying anyway. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> it's truer than you know. I don't think so. What, what are you telling me? You're telling me, that, you're telling me that if a man tried to explain politics to you, you would understand it? Um, No. But I don't talk to a man that's not into politics. What's that? I said that's why I would talk to a man that wouldn't even be into politics, because then we would have no worries. Well, dear, I, you have to understand, guys have, what would, they, what would guys talk to you about then? Whether uh, Brittany is going to get pregnant again or yeah. Paris Hilton. Yeah. See, guys, if a man talks to you about, there's a word for a guy who talks to you about stuff like that. And what is that? <laughs> Gay. <laughs> but what if he's completely straight? There are no completely straight guys who care about that. But what if there is? There aren't. But there is. Who? My fiance. He's gay. He's not gay. Oh, he's gay. No, he's like the best man in the world. 
Well, uh, but plenty of good gay men out there. But he's really not gay. If he of was course gay, he's gay. Like guys, and he likes me. I'm not a if, guy. If he cares about what's happening with Paris Hilton and Britney Spears. <laughs> okay, I, maybe not to that extent. But <laughs> He just hasn't come out of the closet yet. He doesn't care about like, what I say, and he doesn't care about just getting me in bed. That's for sure. Have you ever had sex with him in a closet? Yeah. But you have? <laughs> like, what kind of a closet? The closet he lives in. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, Tom. I've got plenty of gay friends. Trust me, they care about Paris Hilton. No, he doesn't care about Paris Hilton. He just cares about what I have to say. <laughs> no, Paris no, Hilton. no. He's pretending he cares about what you have to say so we can get laid. No, you're completely wrong. <laughs> and you have nothing of interest to say. You just giggle a lot. Because <laughs> I think you're funny. I understand, but you really don't have much to say. Well, what do you want to talk about? I have a lot to say. You called me. <laughs> to tell you that I completely disagree with your show. Like, what is it that you completely disagree with? That, like, going out to bars to meet women that have low self-esteem and everything. What's wrong with that? Like, so you're telling me the women who like, go out tonight, I'm, I'm you're I'm telling leaving. me the women who go to a bar tonight looking to get laid, they don't deserve to have sex? No, I'm not saying that. Like, they do what they do, but that doesn't mean to, like, okay, let's go have sex with the women and forget about her. Well, that's what we do all the time. That's what this class is about. Well, true. That is what guys do, but it's not right. Just because they I... do it, it doesn't make it right. Hey, you know what? The woman has, is under no obligation to participate. She can say, I'm not having sex with you. Do you show me how much you love me? And then we go have sex with some other slut. But it's not even like that. It's just like, <laughs> it just doesn't make it right. It's completely wrong. And I'm not saying that only guys do it because girls do it too, but it doesn't make it right. There's nothing wrong with it. What's wrong with it? <laughs> Everything. Two consent, two co we're but talking about adults. We're talking about consenting adults. If two consenting adults want to have sex, that's that. Right. right, that's totally fine. But it's just like not, it's not, you don't have morals if you're doing that. Why do you say what that? Happens when, like, what happens when they grow up and want to get married and then they find like the person of their dreams? And then Well, my like, students, if, if if look, if my students do it right, they won't want to get married until they're at least 50 years old. Ew, it's so gross. <laughs> then they have no chance. <laughs> oh, no, 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 you're thinking of women, dear. Men do have a chance to get married at 50 because at 50, men have the most money, the most wealth, the most success. Ew, but they have wrinkles, too. <laughs> Darling, let me tell you something. And you, they you look put gross and have gray hair. You, you put a $100 bill over a wrinkle, you'd be amazed how many women want to be all over you. <laughs> well, whatever. Well, if that woman's better off without him, then that's not necessarily true either. Well, you know what? The point is, by the time you realize that, we've moved on to our next victim. <laughs> so bad, Tom. <laughs> That's how it is. All right. In Tom's world. Uh, in the world of Lycus 101 and my millions of students. <laughs> it is, huh? Yes. This is a class, dear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I teach Lycus 101. This is a classroom. Wow. Well, it's good to know. I mean, I take this very seriously. I'm a professor. Nuh-uh. Oh, yes, I am. I'm a professor of Poon. I'm, I'm a <laughs> cunning linguist and a master debater. <laughs> I'm also an amateur gynecologist. You're pretty good. <laughs> I've got Russian hands and Roman fingers. Oh, my God. All right, Tom. <laughs> well, happy Valentine's Day. And the same to you, dear. Hope you get laid. <laughs> Don't worry, I will. Okay. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Were you a virgin? No, man. I, I, I've been with that. Hundreds, of, women in my hundreds and hundreds. Mother's best friend. Grandmother's best friend. Girlfriend, mothers, he's been with every woman on earth. Everybody. Look at the white faces. Everybody with a female name, he's been with her. I wow. would say every woman, but I mean, any woman that will let me, that's my problem. Any woman that's that a much smaller me. list. I think that's the biggest case of virginitis I've ever heard of. It's the Tom Likas Show. Like us 
Dash 101. I am your professor at 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's say hello here to Janice in Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Listen, I called in because I totally disagree with everything you say and everything you stand for. Why? Because I think yourself and all the little Tom mini-me's are so pathetic. Anytime you find someone that needs to put anybody down, whether it's male or female, to feel good, that is disgusting to me. That is a sign of low self-esteem. Low oh, no. I have very high self-esteem. I know how to capitalize on others' low self-esteem. Tom, what I feel you capitalize on are the people around you who have such low IQ that they would even listen to you. Well, you're one of the listeners. I really wish you had a higher self-esteem yourself because uh, the, the people with low IQ, uh, they're saying that that's what the listeners are. I guess you're putting yourself in that category. Absolutely not. My only reason why I'm calling you because my son called me and told me, will you listen to this guy? And believe me, my son is a law student and I am a professional and work with in a profession that's dominated by men. And when I have asked him, have you heard of this guy? And these are highly professional people they say oh yeah that guy's an idiot well, oh yeah I'm, I'm the idiot who's number one who else is listening to you well i guess you'll have to ask uh, all the people who uh, fill out the surveys and say they listen because uh, we are number one with men number one kind of like those people who watch jerry springer you know what i mean those i really don't i really don't care i don't really care if you if you think that the people who watch jerry springer i'd like to be as rich as jerry springer um, Tom, let me let me tell you this. I'm like you. I'm a multimillionaire. Like you, I have lots of properties, but I would never stoop so low as to use that to catch anyone. Okay. To use what to catch anyone? Pardon? To to use what to catch anyone? My wealth. I don't need my wealth to catch anyone. I don't use my wealth. I uh, the are fact you is, do? are you back? No, you using my wealth would mean to spend it on somebody. I certainly wouldn't do that. You show people money. They're ready to lay in bed with you, and that is so That's sad. right. But that's all you do. You show it to them. You don't actually give it to them. Hey, Tom, you must have more in the ball than that. Please tell me you do. I don't need to have more in the ball. That's all you need to do to get laid. I want to do that's it with the least amount of effort expended, least amount of energy expended, least amount of money expended. Um, that's weak, my friend. I'm sorry. That's There's weak. nothing weak about it. That's yeah, Why should anyone spend any more effort on this than they have to? I feel sorry for people like you. I really uh, you do. You don't have to feel sorry for me. I'm the happiest man on earth. Oh, I don't think so. Because you know what you remind me of? You remind me of somebody who's been so abused by women. Ooh, boo -hoo -hoo. And yeah, you, you know, every man out there has had his heart carved out by a woman. I'm not the only one. And that's and why I'm so popular. I feel bad for you. I feel bad for anybody who gets mistreated. And well, again, Eddie, we are number one with men for a reason. Because there's a lot of men who feel the way I do. I feel sorry for them. That's too bad. Well, but but hey, thank God I came along for those guys. Well, yeah, and and I feel sorry for them because I how I feel now. If I had any guy who who didn't have the gumption to talk for himself, he has to talk to some radio radio show host to tell him how to. Uh, but darling, we're not looking for your type. You're over the hill. I mean, you're I? past your expiration date. Oh, yes, you are. You're past your expiration date. You're past the sell, the sell by date. You're past her expiration date. I'm we're not, five and nine, besides, it sounds like you've got two IQ nine, points to rub together. Eight, we're not looking for nine, articulate women who want to, who, who want to bitch out me, guys. Huh? We're not looking for that. My, 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 my patients call me hot. Okay? So don't go there with me. You well, have, come on. You know what, though, darling? You are way over your expiration date. And, and our guys are not are looking for men your age. My age and loving every bit of it, baby. Well, Just you can love it all you like, but the, nice, our guys, nice, our, fine, you are the, pretty. you are old enough to be the mom of our listeners, and in fine, some cases, fine, the grandma. Better, fine wine getting better, and you know you're right. Oh, stop with fine wine getting better, better please. Does that mean that must mean the women in the nursing home are going to be the Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition? Oh, I could say, go for it, girl. You know what? I'll bet you would. I'll bet you would. would. But guess what? Girl. Guys know better, and that's I the never. last thing they want. I feel sorry for people like you. I think you guys all need some help. And I'm so glad you have that crowd out there who listens to you, who probably have an IQ of 30. And so all they can do is try I, to get... Oh, yeah, we need some help. We need some help. Here's the help. Here's the help we need. Open your mouth. Open my mouth? Yeah, that's the help we need.
Oh, thank you. I'm a professional like you, hon. Oh, I'll and bet you are. I'll bet what? you are. I am. I'm uh -huh. a professional woman. I'll bet you are. No, I am. How do you think I got my millions? I, I really don't care how you got your millions. It doesn't do us any good. We just want to get laid. And you're sorry, men. I'm sorry. And your and your poor little mini me girls who call in who put down other women. And this yeah, is love that. Sort of then they have sex with us. It's fantastic. Anybody who you don't agree with, you trash them. Then you stick your little mini me dogs on them. I said, oh my God, women, wake it's a great up. show. All the makings of great radio. Pardon. All the makings of great radio. That's what this all about. All the way to the bank, Tom. You're laughing all oh, the way to the bank. Of aren't course, you? and I'm honest about it. You, you obviously are tuning in for the first time. Oh, Tom, if that's all about, man, I can support you in that as long as you tell me. It's like Dennis Robin, you know, wearing his costume. No, oh. but I, I'm making money and performing a service at the same time. The oh, guys course. need the guys I, need what I bring them. Tom, I do the same thing. I'm do providing the service and making money all the time. The difference between that's us, what Heidi Fleiss told me. You know, the difference between us is that I don't have to put people down around me to do it. I don't really care. I don't really care how you do it or how I do it. It doesn't I, matter. At the end of the day, I just look at the zeros. I say I am one happy camper. Oh, good for you. Good for you. I'm so glad for you that you feel that way. But I can't have believe who abused you. I mean, who abused you in your life? Oh, the darling. Are you a psychiatrist? Yes. You guess. No, yes. you're, you're, you are not. No, because there's no millionaire psychiatrist out there. Yes, it did you. Oh, my you God. You are not a psychiatrist. I am a psychiatrist. Thank you. You And all I can think about, who, who hurt you? <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second, dear. Let me get Bill on here. Bill, what did you want to say to Janice? Uh, Janice, you are the, the example of why men don't want to have conversations with women. Oh, no, you mean smart women. You, 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 it Some seems women, like you, you, guys you have handle, something to prove. You're down angry. Down you run away scared. scared. Everyone want to know how, bad, how proud and intelligent and independent you are. And who wants to have a and find an argument every time they have a conversation? Sometimes you just want to chill, have a good time, do the wild thing, and go home. To me, Bill, you don't have a high enough IQ to talk to me. Well, I am talking to you, so maybe you don't have an eye high enough IQ and to realize I... that we're having a conversation. Nothing, Bill. Nothing. And a conversation consists of you more see? than you opening I'm your not... mouth wide over and over and over Bill. and just having noise come out of it. Bill, you're not smart enough to talk to me. Put somebody on the phone who's smart enough to talk to me because you're not it, baby. Uh, oh, well, what happened to you? You're not it, Bill. I want to have to person. put someone wanna... down to make yourself feel good. I thought that's how you start this conversation you off. I, I hate it when people have to put language down to make themselves feel good. Isn't that what you said? Smart and now, now you want to de demean me and and make fun of my IQ and and and, put, and say that I'm beneath well, you, you and grip on it, baby. I mean, you don't have a nothing. Real do. You want to you want to have you your cake and eat it too. Talk to me. Like Tom said, talk to me. Wise. You can ah. Uh, Bill, I'm there sorry. There you go. Not you. There you go. You professional and and, and, and now you can go and analyze why you're on the phone. Bill, Bill I'm a professional. It's losing battle. Oh, when I'm talking to somebody beneath my, you know, who I am, and that's you, dear, not you. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. So you're the prime example. You're you're what you hate. Yeah, that's so what I can do his old dad oh, said, give you a good crack in the ass. Go ahead for it, dude, because you know what? Ow, ow, and again, I'm not going to pull that hair because I don't want it to cut you loose on you. We don't want to embarrass you there. Oh, you couldn't kiss my boots. I would never give like anybody like you the time of day. <laughs> You don't have enough going for you, honey. You're, you you have, have a nice day, millionaires. Honey, you would never have to spend any money on me. I'm sorry, don't need it. I'm a very independent person, and like your 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 mentor, very rich. And yes, I am married, and I have three kids, and they're all successful. So, Bill, I see I did it right, huh? Oh, unbelievable! All I can say is you are proving my point merely. By having that attitude, this is what guys don't want to hear. But I thank you for the call. It's the Tom Likas Show.